my dear friends uh, uh, i'm just reading few slides this i had uh, shared you in the whatsapp also what i am going to do today is that uh, psychodynamic uh, that freudian adrian approach is all coming under the same thing even karen horney is uh, psychodynamic only so it's come through i am going to do the comparing and contrasting of psychodynamic and freudian then you will come to understand what all things you should not disclose to your client what all things you shall disclose to your client for example you i'll be covering uh, the first year portion also because without remembering the first year portion you can't do this and uh, it is included in your current syllabus also now in uh, freudian uh, concept you know the unconscious this is a very very important thing everyone has got it the unconscious place whatever we have deposited so actually adler alfred adler was also in the same school of uh, freud but later he came to know all this id ego super ego unconscious and all that will make it will, will add troubles if you simply openly discuss it so he made a different approach i'll be comparing both then you'll be clear about it practicing uh, hope you are uh, it's audible Some, somebody please answer Yes, sir. Audible. Okay, thank you. See, I'm just reading it. Psychodynamic Freudian Adlerian approach. It's comparing and contrasting. This will make you clear about counselor's responsibility towards clients and help your client the more aware about them. And also, now we days, please, from our uh, clinical experience, please try to understand. Even we students or the clients, maybe because you yourself have tested. Uh, the PNEL, uh, psychotism, some neurotism, some uh, extraversion, all these things. Now the thing is that you should understand. You came to know that some people, students would have got a very high value. So that means he, even we ourselves and the clients have got all these problems. So uh, major thing with uh, psychotherapy is that uh, you must be very careful nowadays. the client comes and discloses a lot of things to you after the client is leaving client may have a second thought whether this clinician will disclose things so they will have a fear because of the neurotism and psychotism the clients have what will happen is that they may make your name bad so you must be very careful even when i began the therapy or the sessions purely academic i was always so later i came to know over days so society has changed the media invasion everything is there so you must be clear clear must do the counseling in an open platform actually and somebody must be there in your residence and somebody must accompany the client even if the client is a child or even a grown up person like a teenager whether uh, irrespective of the sex because uh, from experience only tell me many people are coming and telling say after i did counseling i had all these problems these are all common nowadays please try to take everything in the positive sense and not to threaten you uh, be careful in your uh, practice so once you know this uh, psychodynamic uh, theory this will help you uh, know the undercurrents of the client so uh, next one i am trying to tell you is that a person centered approach and gestalt approach gestalt approach is something so great that unless or is you understand it clearly you cannot apply it once you understand anybody or not like that if you make uh, the client understand what is gestalt approach then the client will always uh, try to accomplish the goal without uh, any gap you will not give a gap touch you see some people are there once take a decision carry full carry on with the action so all this will work provided the neurotics and psychotics are the within the limits otherwise they can't understand that is the problem there are lot of human and uh, basic brain anatomy lot of things that uh, unfortunately it, all these are not covered even in the clinical psychology selection so this is what uh, please listen to the class carefully then you will come to understand last class uh, one student asked to me sir why should we study all this uh, clinical part right the counseling yes you have to 
because some uh, client may be coming to you because of the stress even uh, the medical science could not find out there could be an underlying medical reason also which if a clinic psychologist can find out you can understand the value because you should understand a stress even a carpal tunnel syndrome uh, may make the person stressful but they cannot tell only a psychologist can understand this because the doctor uh, when when they are telling some nerve uh, issue is there they will ignore they will give some psychiatric issue, psychiatric medicine uh, even a general practitioner will do that they may not go in deep whereas they because they don't have time they come spend only 5 minutes for the patient now the covid that you know the situation has changed otherwise doctors were very busy they won't do but you can do lot of things so all these things are very very important in counseling you can do much better than a medical doctor okay and not that you are our syllabus is vast but detailing is less than ignore material due to its vastness because with the, your uh, the whole units even a single therapy cannot be detailed so it is our responsibility to see that we detail within our limited period so i'll be transferring all the slides also it is inclusive of what i had shared in the last year but a uh, lot of additions or the, the slides which were already there i couldn't i i need not have to do in the first year so i keep it that the stretch because of the online limitations i am also not in a position to present in the way i wish still i will try my level best hence few portions which you can simply read and understand like ethics and counseling small portions or like art therapy all this you can better read and understand that thing more to do it just your skill only on sunday is tomorrow based on the total therapies uh, that we are going to discuss i have already discussed behavioral cbt all these things so based on the other four therapy that i am discussing today i will be covering linking each and every mental disorder so how which anxiety disorder what therapy can be done so this will help you do your internship in a better way so let's see all this uh, i had already given last year but let me see uh, a uh, few steps for example the principle of determinism you know uh, freud was a doctor he's a medical doctor he was interested in brain and uh, neurons so he knew the physiology and anatomy everything so the principle of determinism is nothing but human brain is a part of the nature no doubt about it so you can uh, philosophically or phenomenologically enquire this even 10000 years back also animals were there all this lion everybody was there but even after 10000 years not much imagination took place in their brain whereas human brain it has got certain peculiarity it linked with the nature that's what is telling human mind functions through brain a part of natural world as part of nature mind is also subject to natural law as such what governs the universe also governs the human mind here you have to understand what freud actually understood and tried to make you understand was that basic hedonism that is why when freudian theory comes people unnecessarily criticize him because of the libido and all that that is not true he was telling about the nature what is the source of the nature for a production feeding see why are the animals used to do when they wanted to eat something kill some something actually in fact we are also doing it we are we are doing it the polish way that's all so the principles of determinism freud why he called it as an it is the rule hedonism people wanted to satisfy because of the rules societal improvement that is change in the culture but in a way we can also understand we to have lot of aggressive behavior jealousy all this this are all part of animal behavior only now so based on that he wanted to study the mind scientifically so the conscious unconscious preconscious you know i just i will just brief actually the conscious he says is a very little only according to him that uh, from the picture you can understand the 10 units of this conscious volume 
they, they picture that you see the conscious. The 10 units of the conscious volume can go inside the unconscious. So that's why he says conscious is too little, whereas unconscious is equal to your age. A small boy, a 50 year old man, lot of uh, things he has deposited in the unconscious comes and troubles him at times. That is the neuroticism. So the place of defensive mechanism, when we use continuously the defensive mechanism, for a lot of examples I had uh, told you uh, in the first year also, depending on the culture. For example, in Indian culture, uh, females may be having more, uh, they may have to use more defensive mechanism. In European country, it may not be like this because of the cultural restrictions. That all stories I'm not coming, going to discuss now. We don't have time. So according to Freud, conscious is very, very little. That you say you are aware is not true. The unconscious is uh, maybe 10 times more the volume of conscious. The pre-conscious, again, you should understand the pre-conscious is not subconscious. Pre-conscious is something, a term that he derived, he developed, who Freud developed. So he said, pre-conscious is an asylum for both the conscious and unconscious. So it usually take rest in pre-conscious or take asylum in pre-conscious. It will not be it will not be percolated or transferred to conscious level or transferred visually from unconscious to conscious or conscious to unconscious. It comes in a vague way, play as a disturbance. So you can understand all this Kumbha Sarikya or I told you in the first year also, the prayers, Karajarana Kratham Vakaya Jam Karma Jam Vastravana Nayana Jam Manasam Vaparatham once you practice it every day and trying to clear your own mind every day, the unconscious volume will be less. But here what happens? We deposit, we try to justify our behavior. See the Pavlovian theory said all behaviors are learned. We try to justify our behavior. So these are also nothing but defensive mechanism. Hope you are clear about the states of mind. I am not discussing much more about it. Uh, this you have cleared in the first year itself. So still I am sending these slides only to make you understand uh, what it is. Now, Freud and Freudian school have written a lot, many books about this indigo superego and all that. Here also you have to understand, see this picture. This is last year also I had given. I am doing it as a reminder for us to practice. The id means, as you know, it has come from libido, that id of libido. So all this pleasure instinct. So it is shown as a satan. Still you know that, all of us know that we have id. Because it is not alone the sex. It is a pleasure seeking mind. Super ego is like an angel. Both are not good. Suppose a person has got very, very, that much super ego. Then that means, maybe like, uh, I'm quoting from Buddha, Buddha religion and all that. When super ego was nurtured in that way that others confiscated them, including their property, including their religion, shattered into pieces. Because it is, there should be a balancing between the id and supreme. What is the extent that one can go? Now here you can understand the importance of education, cultural education, value education. Because people, now Freudian psychology is reviving again all, about, all over the world. Because it is through better education, cultural education, moral principles, the id can be very well put under control. But again, if there is psychotism, neurotism, especially the psychotism, it's in the very much on the higher side. People cannot understand this. That is why even the small children, the conduct disorder, you know, I'm not quoting the particular thing. Still, I'm telling the incident, the Kodatai case and all, Jolie case and all. 
So small conduct disorders were there in the childhood. So that that was not uh, cured. Maybe sometimes that was nurtured by the parents. What would have happened? It became psychopathy and this social personality. So that is why right. through education, the it can be made under control. Superego will definitely improve. Then the compromising role by ego. That's what it ego superego. Ego is the again like uh, preconscious. Ego is the ego of Freud is different, not uh, the no, usual ego. It is a compromise between it and superego. Now you just imagine, suppose a better culture, good culture, good education, everything is there. Uh, moral principles are, I mean, that's what Freud said, sublimation, live according to socially deserved manners. We should understand our culture and limit our desires. Then the superego can be healthy. Ego will have very little role only. So all this also I have put, but I am not mentioning. Now, defense mechanism, I don't know whether you are, even though I shared this slide last uh, year, I don't know whether you are very clear about what is defensive mechanism. Defensive mechanisms are unconscious strategies. That is why all the defensive mechanism, except the sublimation, is uh, getting deposited where in the unconscious. So what people will do, people will not think cognitive, they will not use their cognition. Because using cognition is troubling them. So they to reduce the anxiety, they conceal the source. So according to Freud, the only one thing is that only sublimation is healthy. But many other people have said that some kind of fantasy, healthy fantasy, uh, going back to your child, uh, it's good that I when TA was discussed, I was telling. If it is healthy, with the awareness, if you do uh, certain healthy defensive mechanism, like uh, that of fantasizing or uh, regression, going back to your old age, but you deliberately do it, not as a defensive mechanism. Are you clear about this many four portions? Then comes the second year portion. Are you clear? Somebody respond. My dear students, if somebody can respond, I can proceed with the <coughs> goals of radiotherapy. Hello. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, uh, how to do the Freudian therapy? This is very, very important. Earlier, it was thought that uh, Freudian therapy requires months and years. But uh, I'm sure with uh, if you have got very good insight, so suitability of client is very important. With all clients, you cannot do Freudian therapy. It may end up in uh, trouble solves. But with the educated people, those who are ready to listen, more often it is used with neuroticism and also to some extent psychotism to make the person to realistic world. So let us see what it is. Focus on helping their clients to understand previous unconscious aspects about themselves. Initiate for such efforts. Actually here, the definition of uh, counsel to help a person to help himself. This is what is said. Focus on helping their clients to understand previous unconscious aspects about themselves. At that time, the, the, the uh, practitioner, the clinician should be very clear because here is a very, very important thing. That is why nowadays we are discussing here very high on why license is required. Why a qualified to train the person only should do this. You just imagine Suppose you are telling the client that, okay, we have found out uh, the certain unconscious aspects that you have been depositing from right from childhood or deposited in the childhood. That such incidents are giving trouble to you. You are sure that that will only aggravate the trouble of the client. So you must appropriately do it. So initiation shall come from uh, client. You have to do 
uh, an empathizing condition with the client and client should go happily that they should not again trouble the client if it troubles it suppose a suicidal tendency is there you are aggravating it that is why uh, the clinical psychology part why, uh, why it should be taken with the knowledge and medication of the psychiatrist and some unless the way that again uh, some when some students are asking why should we know the medicine see for example uh, the psychologist is not aware about even simple uh, medicines like alprazolam and all that when tranquilizers the doctors would have prescribed it exclusively to prevent the suicide or uh, the what do you say the obsessions what uh, the uh, suppose you are not aware about any of these things you simply say no simply say, you stop all this medicine counseling is enough what will happen when you do the counseling the symptom will get exaggerated and aggravated so there is a chance that the, the client uh, listening to your advice so you are not supposed to advise like this the client may commit suicide because they stop the medicine also you because through our therapy it is uh, you are tarnishing the life so you have to understand a lot of things then only you can become a good uh, counselor for example if somebody is uh, coming to me i certainly ask are you taking any medicine suddenly uh, i deliberately i made efforts to know what are the functions of this medicines what is the indications of this so if a uh, client is taking such medicines usually i would at a time because i would say let the doctor the clinicians of the hospital take care because it should be a mutual work you must be very careful when you do that because you should not give troubles to the clients and their family and symptom transformation is the aim than elimination so likewise see we cannot eliminate the problems because they may be having uh, suffering from true loss true problems so why can how can you make the client think in a different way that must be our aim so when symptom is unsuccessfully resolved still depend understanding in one's inner life sometimes suppose uh, sometimes uh, there will be some relief sometime later also it is uh, experience says that uh, freudian psychologists say psychodynamic clinicians say uh, the resolution takes place even after some time because there is an insight that uh, we are supposed to give to the clients the hurdles irrational manipulative authoritarian beliefs to be transformed to rational realistic and compassionate levels why where did you study my dear students where did you study this irrational manipulative authoritarian beliefs in this therapy this theory can somebody say let us make it life this theory you study it as irrational manipulative authoritarian belief especially this theory <coughs> since you are not responding i am telling because i am short of time it is cbt the main purpose of cbt is transformation of irrational belief into rational belief self destructing beliefs to self enhancing beliefs that's what freudian theory is inclusive of everything if those who are uh, criticizing freud just for libido and sex is wrong freud if you take the bulk and bulk of freudian books and go through this freud has mentioned all this but his uh, aim was different so that is why he didn't do much on this but his school has made a lot of researches on this so the you know, cbt is because without studying freudian psychology you cannot study psychology freud uh, has included all these things maybe that after the, his followers or uh, his uh, new generation people of other therapy including ta or any other therapy uh, client centered therapy all these are telling same thing that freud said only only thing is his terminology are different so that is why there's a need for comparing and if you try to compare and contrast the concepts of freud with that of every other theory which i am going to do today with adlerian therapy my main purpose of doing this with adlerian therapy is that you have to after studying all the therapy 
you should see how Freudian concepts are there, already there in the other theories. Then it will be a bit clear. So goals. AIM cannot be full resolution of some particular psychological disturbance, but build insight and self-knowledge. Again, this is the purpose of whole psychology, psychotherapy, counseling, and as well as CBT, everything. Deeper understanding of themselves and develop a richer, richer inner life. So I am just a quoting, just a word that is mala mayena manas. That means all this dirt should go. When the dirt is going, jealousy will come down, hatredness will come, come down, uh, aggression will go. So richer inner life will take place. That is the main purpose of every therapy. Freudian goal is same only. So even suggestion requirement is only initially. Final development of personality eliminates suggestion also. So selection criteria. So all this you may not be seeing seeing it in your work. I have taken it from many of the other works of uh, Freud and his books. So basically, it is uh, one to one. Though group therapy is also done in a different way. Because uh, many other schools have come, so they are using the Freudian technique in group therapy. So uh, if we get a chance to assemble sometime after the COVID, I can even do such a work uh, in the group. So reasonable education, consistency in personality is not his personality, consistency in personality, because uh, where, where consistency will not be there, you will say study tomorrow when we take up a bipolar and all that. When inconsistent the problems are there, in bipolar it will be there. Bipolar 1 will be heavy, very severe. Bipolar 2 also will be there. So inconsistency is there, uh, it won't work. That is why I say uh, it is more suitable for uh, neurotic illnesses. So willingness to tolerate frustration, anxiety, passivity and depression. Okay, that's why. Uh, frustration and anxiety, depression, everything will be there in the client. When you do, that's why you should be very delicate with the client. You should not, uh, in a single sitting, you should not do all this. It may end up in trouble. So possibility for insight capacity, adequate reality, resting, uh, adequate interpersonal relation and positive motivation. That's why, though even when you take up all this uh, Freudian or psychodynamic therapy, you must uh, seek the help of uh, the family members and friends in the society because uh, if the frustration is getting increased, you cannot tolerate, things may become worse as I was mentioning earlier. So possibility for insight capacity, adequate uh, reality resting, adequate interpersonal relationship, everything is a must, more effective for neurotic or pervasive symptoms and characteristics. Now, Therapeutic relation, this is very, very important. A caring commitment to the client. A respect to client autonomy. A devotion to the pursuit of truth. Why it is said like this is that caring commitment to the client, respect to client's autonomy. Suppose even the client might, maybe might be thinking the most vulgar things. They are thinking in the most vulgar things. But at that time, you are telling, yeah, what nonsense, man, what are you talking? It's very shameful to listen to this. No, you have to respect the client. Client is having a problem, maybe unethical, unsocial things he's doing. But if you are ridiculing him, no. Can you enrich, that's the word, can you enrich the thought of the client? So a devotion to the person of truth. Why the client behaved like this? Why that illegitimate relation? Why that uh, illegal thoughts, unsocial thoughts, or uh, psychopathic thoughts, anti-social thoughts, you have to help the client change. That is your duty, not to blame the client. So a rule of neutrality, a rule of anonymity, no advice. And not to disclose the therapist to the client. My dear students, I have certain limitations, especially in the online class, because there are existential approach. If I get time, I will explain to this with a short story. 
uh, sometimes uh, clients used to tell uh, i could resolve similar problem in freudian therapy you are not supposed to give it why because maybe after many sittings using a cognitive therapy when you are using a particular cognitive therapy and applying that cognitive principle you may come back but this time you most of the time you are supposed to keep silent let the client disclose it i will show one one case how it is being done now no advice no comparison see i had a similar problem i used to solve this problem why you should not do this you go to the nature nurture the you are you solved a problem in a similar situation because you are genetic wiring and you are nurturing suit to the uh, handling of the problem in your with your skills can it be the same with that of the client who has got a lot of turmoil in their mind just uh, can somebody answer are you listening to all this yes sir ha ah, this is what see suppose it you means, uh, please means that the therapist uh, in this freudian therapy the therapist should have a facade right yes sir that means so the therapist is not supposed to disclose okay i had some similar problem i could solve it like this no in freudian therapy you are not supposed to do it you can definitely do it once you made a lot of settings you made a lot of clarity you know the capacity or resources of the client then you can modulate and disclose you are right away the first thing is exactly i could solve it see his nurture and his nature I mean, genetic wiring of that person and that of uh, the uh, how the either client was nurtured was different his resources are is also are also different if you simply compare oh, where you, you will end where the client will end you should understand all this so your genetics your nurture nature everything is different that of client no meaning in uh, disclosing and comparing so you have to explore emotional concern of the client client's emotional concern client's potential everything is different autonomy of client is fully respected again it's so repeatedly telling again role of anonymity the client uh, may be having an ethical thing and social thing you are not supposed to ridicule the client complete discipline on the part of therapist because you suppose a troubled relation whether it is a gender a male or female and the clinician usually maybe clinician acting as an ideal personality what will happen there can be a, an affection towards the clinician all these things are not expected rule of abstinence long relation shall give no way for proxy suppose a mother is coming he lost the son the client the, the clinician is too young the client may ask may i consider you as as my mother I mean, as my son you can you consider me as a uh, mother or the other any other relation so what will happen then it is not psychology so this is what long relation shall give no way for proxy at the same time faith should be developed by the therapist for clients most vulnerable disclose this is what something vulnerable that if an ordinary person if we listen to what clients say uh, that ordinary person may close the ears and shut the eyes we are not supposed to do it we are not why you read the uh, next sentence the client shall not be talking to a brick wall sometimes for half an hour the client may not be disclosing anything at that time the therapist in fraud in therapy uh, suppose the client is the clinician is thinking okay he is not talking anything he is uh, keeping mum he is not responding anything see this is a part of the therapy at that time also a lot of things are happening in the client's mind so at that time if you think since the client is not uh, talking anything uh, keeping mum let me look into the mobile what sir no the client shall not be talking to a brick wall even silence and breaking of it by the rapist infrequently to share client's own ideas to client's own inner struggles 
actually you are trying to by uh, doing a practice by uh, showing an empathy to the client you are trying to dig certain unconscious things and you pacify it in the therapy process so strategies silence i told you the last side slide even the silence we say therapy only management interpretation transference and counter transference transference and counter transference it happens to the client as well as the clinician why because for example i am taking a case uh, childhood bad memories of the client the client is discussing i ah, may also have a thought even they i have to be frank any family relation will be troubled the family relation so there will be trouble in between whatever you say no ideal matching is there so suppose you are trying to solve the family issue similar issues are there in you you also get trouble but you it may get you may also get insight the client also get insight so this is one transference and counter transference and if you apply the, the cbt to that for example you are troubled uh, after listening to something can you positively take it so then cbt will help that's why all the theories and therapies are required to appropriately you have to apply and you have to practice you have to maintain such a life then only you can be a modern so this thing uh, so first so i'm sorry uh, that the name that you don't take it to heart uh, the name you should uh, we are not supposed to tell the name so just ignore that uh, client this xx this i had shared in the whatsapp also many people would have seen few people have responded at that time my purpose was to at that time my purpose was to ask you measure the mental disorder so this time i am not using this for that how i used this uh, freudian therapy to resolve the, not the resolving the problem the stepping down the first class i uh, mentioned the therapeutic definition of counseling and all that. so at that time i told you uh, stepping down so the name you just ignore uh, if you anyway i'm say while i'm sending i'll delete the i'm sorry let me just switch off my phone i'm in clinic call me after 2 hours uh, sorry uh, so this name you forget uh please uh, try to understand that you are not supposed to reveal the name i forgot to delete fully uh, so when i am sending this slide i'll correct it and send this slide to you uh, this is actually something really happened so using this therapy actually i used uh, i because i i was clear that i will get only one time one chance to see this patient years back many many years back it was a really a true platonic love right from the school so they even uh, seeing the intensity of the see the intensity of the true love of the two children of the say, almost the same class from the same village parents decided to give their give them in marriage but after fixing the marriage there was a myocardial attack and that person died so naturally in um, the mental disorder definition it is clearly said such type of incidents are very strong uh, strong trauma the client will have even a close relation of husband and wife child people may commit suicide no uh, so maybe of those six months one year a lot of agony will be there so it is thought to be treated as a mental disorder here my purpose was that how i could help the client he, taking two and a half hours she spoke only very very few words which i have summarized to here this you have to understand i uh, sold maybe 25 or 30 for the words only this two words uh, she was uttering in two and a half hours so i gave enough time so i told you silence is a part of therapy so after having heard all these things i simply asked her this is why i could help, how i could help using the fraud in therapy i just uh, asked her did uh, this xx client access told you some of the desires when you were together 
maybe after five six minutes she said yes we never had any uh, lustful thoughts or even libido or any pleasure seeking he was actually like a sanyasi yeah i too have that mind actually he wanted to do a charitable trust then i just asked to her see i listen to you for more than two to one hour two two quarter hours can you just uh, cooperate with me mm-hmm. you say you wanted to end up your life and join the other person xx he will so it's all belief the same with the same belief when you jo- jo- join big see there in the other world he will definitely ask you we had certain plans when we were together yeah. okay i had to leave as as a part as part of god's god's call did you try to accomplish my wish then she sat with me for another 5 minutes she didn't say anything she left the clinic then i informed the parents this is the condition so the, the, the positive thing was that she was not even willing to go to bangalore the next day she went to bangalore i understand uh, she began it trust uh, more than that uh, we are not are uh, supposed to end go Uh, my dear friend are you clear about the freudian theory and the therapy how you can apply this any idea you have to practice and you can understand please share your views or any modification of teaching you require my material service sorry then i can go to the next theory and therapy <coughs> you got some idea about freudian therapy Yes, sir. Can I proceed with the next slides? Yes, sir. Or, uh, you, I hope you have no doubts. Okay, thank you. Now, Adler in therapy. Adler actually did not ridicule. He did not ridicule Freud, but he only wanted to not criticize him. He wanted to say. why such concepts are to be used okay you study that why do you use it so he used it in a different way again his nurture his nature his genetics and his nurture was responsible for his theory let us see what happened all this i had uh, i i believe i shared a few slides but purposely though it was not a syllabus to you last year it was not at all there in your syllabus still i wanted i told you <coughs> Hey, I just just to tell what what is that? For example, uh, he was a third child of seven. The particular sentence you read, you try to, uh, or I'll talk, I'll read here. Apparent physical comfort, but misery in childhood. That was the problem with Adler. Those um, uh, days, medical science uh, declared that Adler cannot survive. so apparent comfort means his father adlerd adler made a lot of things not made everything but he could not enjoy because he was bedridden one day he listened that he cannot survive and uh, looking after him at this condition will be a painful thing to the parents from over hearing only he came to know from the various literature only i read this so this particular sentence is taken apparent physical comfort but misery in childhood i received it from nets so when i inquired that was the reason so from there on ways he started stimulating himself he became very healthy he became a medical doctor but thing is that part of nurturing it is he was uh, very much influenced by karl marx in philosophy and bible as you know there is a saying that uh, jesus is the first to come next ullavan illathavan kodukana those who have let them share for the have nots have said have nots let have share to have nots so that is also there in bible also in marx and philosophy so what he said was uh, i'll just uh, co- go to his concepts social interest this is his son sentence the caring and concern for the welfare of others that can serve to guide people's behavior throughout their lives 
it's a sense of being a part of society and taking responsibility to improve it. just try to uh, what i say immerse into the sentence just impart just gulp uh, the sentence to meaning so you can understand the olden days so i'm not talking about the politics but just wanted to tell you the olden days of communist evolution they even even many leaders of bengal and all that i'm not comparing with today and i don't want to talk this is not my area i want i what i want to tell you sir i want you to think the real true communists that is uh, when the when the evolution was there we had many ak gobal and many leaders were there they were living in a very very simple manner many even did not marry in bengal at all they had this concept the caring i'll read once again the caring and concern for the welfare of others that can serve to guide the people's behavior throughout their life it's a sense of being part of society and taking responsibility to improve it anybody is willing to uh, follow this type of life do you think they will have any mental disorder they will not have because selfishness is almost nil in their life so this is what he said if social interest is there one person will not have any for this a very vast therapy let me try to finish and uh, do some other th- two more therapy today uh, please cooperate in between also you can uh, interrupt if you have got a doubt it's a very very difficult theory to understand and uh, not only that i am doing the comparing and contrasting i believe you will not have doubts please listen to us so for that you have to understand the concepts of this theory the concepts i am discussing i know that uh, <coughs> i purposely covered uh, this portion sir, last year because i thought at least you will have some insight uh, our uh, concepts and his concepts are different i had like in freud uh, this ego and preconscious his concepts uh, usually what we believe uh, you don't look at the screen you close your eyes and listen to me what do you understand is that inferiority is bad actually according to people abagarshata that is wrong but according to him that is good now you read this feeling of inadequacy and incompetence that developed during infancy serve as the basis to serve for superiority in order to overcome feelings of inferiority for example uh, you know very well i am not quoting the word names and all that but still i have to appreciate some people uh, see uh, i told you in the class i when i explained the first year itself purposely only i explained in the first year because some people after taking psychology may have a fear how to study statistics very difficult so i remember one of our favorite students uh, helped you so i told you at that time that you accepted the moment you accept is i am not good in statistics mathematics good you accept it you feel the inferiority also nothing wrong according to him nothing wrong but what you have to do you have to strive for superiority in order to overcome the feeling of inferiority you take the trouble study well seek the help of your own colleagues that's why the same on your own uh, student class help you so likewise you choose the help of others you try to improve yourself you resolve the inferiority so inferiority is good that you accept take away sir you will learn tomorrow uh, body dysmorphic disorder at that time i will explain this particular inferiority how uh, you should uh, overcome how many people did not overcome ended up their life because of the dysmorphic personality disorder so his next concept is inferiority complex that is what he is trying to differentiate between why this is very much important uh, to know this first uh, you can help yourself second you can help your clients 
you you should understand whether it is inferiority the person or inferiority complex or if there is inferiority complex what is your duty you have to change that inferiority complex into inferiority then you can resolve it so a strong and pervasive belief that one is not as good as other people is usually an exaggerated sense of feeling of inadequacy and insecurity that may result in being defensive and anxious so that means suppose a pervasive what is the meaning of pervasive ever pervading god is ever pervading a lot of in all matters if a person thinks that i am bad in everything that is the inferiority complex that is bad now you can under, differentiate between inferiority and inferiority complex inferiority in certain area i am not good fine can you solve it for example i am black okay through some uh, uh, modification by studying the aesthetic values certain makeup techniques by your own you can improve to some extent so otherwise simply accept it anybody simply accept my limitations and try to overcome in some other area it's also possible so but the inferiority complex i am bad in everything that cannot happen no it is not true so if that uh, that complex is only the problem inferiority is good that will only help you improve let us see the other superiority again superiority is good if taken as positive for example a person uh, struggled a lot uh, like abraham lincoln and all many people are there uh, we know that uh, rasul bukuti many people were there in, even in today um, many people didn't have any base they worked hard ahankara la abhiman like he one can be pr proud about himself that is superiority to drive to become superior allows individual to become skilled competent and creative now you go back to your inferiority the, the inferiority uh, concept that adler was telling strive for superiority see now the superiority is positive because a person when he understands that he is not good in certain area not everything then he let him become skilled competent and creative many people after hearing the classes of our own student appreciated that uh, they could understand everything likewise they have, they said uh, it helped uh, them to write the examination so because they became skilled competent and creative so that way uh, inferiority can be resolved and what is bad according to him superiority complex it is like uh, say uh, a film that uh, i was telling in the class in the first year i believe i don't know whether i covered or not but do you see i was telling the example of pranjit and philip where a person started with uh, rice business became very rich but he was having inferiority complex so he start uh, a clinic i'm sorry he he start uh, a jewelry but again uh, people were calling him uh, hari pranjida the person who sells the rice hari pranjida sornagada so he was still again became uh, he had inferiority complex so these people you can see i was telling in the example they uh, opened the shirt the buttons of the shirt and exhibit the uh, 10 sovereign chain or uh, hand chain uh, travel in a very costly vehicle Uh, then they tell everything why to have education nothing no meaning in getting you can make money so even the what i made more than what engineers and doctors made so likewise this is superior to complex that is displaying most of all self centered arrogant superiority to overcome feelings of insecurity so how inferiority should be solved can i just respond according to him if you or your sir your client is having inferiority how the inferiority should be solved through superiority or superiority complex tell me to accept it in the right spirit and uh, strive for superiority okay right, that's what right. not superiority complex so this is what you you should understand even i myself should understand our client should understand then it can be made healthy so uh, the five concepts you must be clear about it that is uh, social interest inferiority inferiority complex superiority 
sublimity complex. Psi mod will be there that we will discuss in, uh, on the way. So Alfred Adler said, drive for superiority, the desire for self-improvement and upward drive for perfection. Basic human problem, inferiority complex. So that's why. If you have the inferiority and try to overcome, absolutely you can be healthy. That's why this is a very, very beautiful theory and therapy. <laughs> the therapy part also, I can only tell you have to practice it under somebody. And I can definitely help. Uh, you can come to me anytime. If in group, it is very good. <coughs> you can do case examples or you can bring the clients, no issues. Uh, inferiority complex, extreme feelings of weakness of inadequacy involves inability to accept natural limitation. So an inferiority complex occurs when the need for self-improvement is blocked. That person cannot improve. So what he will do? He will use other wrong ways of achieving um, and pushing somebody down. So this is what. So you ask oneself, is it actually blocked? Self-improvement is never blocked. You can. So inferiority feelings and the personality. So how is that? The compensation. Here also, that's what I tell you. The compensation here uh, is a healthy defensive mechanism, whereas in Freud, compensation is not healthy. Here, the compensation is inferiority is compensated through superiority, positively, not by hitting somebody down. So, develop one's own. That's what I just read it. Feelings of inferiority are a natural part of personality development. They start in the childhood when we compare ourselves to adults and continue to adulthood when we discover limitations of our ability. So at that time, nurturing has got a lot of role to do. So you accept the inferiority, try to come up through skills, competence. So the parents as well, they can help the child. They will improve. Even we can. Even the family life, anything can be improved like that. Accept the limitations and live. So they naturally, likewise, uh, that is why I am begging before my students, you should understand uh, the lifespan psychology well, not the physical development, that is not that important. The developmental theory of Eric Erickson and all that. See, at the time of, I mean, after 50 years and all that, when you evaluate, you should understand that I was free from aggression. I could resolve my aggression, jealousy, everything. So you will feel a happy ending. To such people, even if there is an illness, they will, or even uh, if uh, terminally ill, they will accept. Because wherever the life was there, they happily lived. That is the reason. Now, this is the picture that uh, compensation for self-improvement. Unhealthy process. In, through inferiority complex, overcompensation, hitting somebody down. So that is not the uh, thing. You should use uh, inferiority as a resource. Try to overcome those. Never choose for uh, superiority complex or inferiority complex. Hope you are clear. So Freud, uh, Adrian versus Freud. For Freud, a person's primary motivation was sexual pleasure. Actually, it was not like that. Since I took it from a net, I also wanted to, didn't want to correct it. That was a basic mistake. Freud did never said that. He said the total pleasure only by libido. We are living for that only. But uh, you will come to know, though it's a psycho. That's why I took uh, the advanced permission from you. Though you need not have to study schizophrenia and all that. I'll be covering that also. Again, uh, some of my friends... Uh, students here may ask, why should we uh, listen to all this, sir? No. One of the, uh, you will learn that one of the symptoms of schizophrenia or such psychotic disorders is that when schizophrenia has got 25 categories. Un unhedonism. Hedonism is Freudian pleasure principle. Unhedonism is one of the symptoms in schizophrenia. Suppose a person getting married, he is uh, unhedonic. You know, I have no interest in pleasure. About uh, 15 to 20 percent people are like that. When they get married, the opposite partner will find difficult. You may not even make a good child. So all these things, you cannot ridicule for it. What best is available, take it from every therapist. And you practice, you become a model. 
you can also also become a good model there will be aggression there will be uh, all these uh, big personality traits also they are in us try to improve him as a model that must only can do so for adler the primary motivation was self perfection and equality with others the emphasis on what made people different from animals and machines goals values and training but that is a um, ideal personality of adler that will not take place but we can try for this freud also said the same thing it ego super ego sub in a better education is given a better super ego healthy super ego is developed it will not be there so ego will not be troubled this is what so another most important contribution of adler is that see you blame uh, the nature nurture nature is the heredity nurture is the environment so heredity and environment provide the bricks the final form of building is up to us i hope i had uh, shared certain things even in uh, case of autism and all that even an illiterate mother could solve the problem could not uh, solving the problem at least before she shut the i uh, shut the, the eyes of her I mean, before the end of her life she could uh, see that that uh, autistic boy is surviving by his, himself all this possible because of uh, certain traits in the people that old mother illiterate mother she learned she agreed with the certain clinicians and tried to work for it i'll share it in the group uh, that mother could uh, to help that child son at by 44 years he completed the matriculation so heredity if you just blame heredity there are um, say in shivakara that story is there two people uh, identical twins two one identical twin pair that is uh, two persons two children born as identical twin twins one became a statesman and one became a traitor one became a statesman other became a pakka criminal so when uh, american psychiatric association people Uh, psychiatric association people, American Psychological Association people interviewed. They interviewed first a criminal. He said, uh, "My father was a drunk god. I was denied a schooling. My mother was beaten up. How can I be different? I also became a drunk god and a criminal." So then they interviewed the other person, states who became a statesman. Same heredity, same environment. The other uh, other person said the same thing. My childhood was very bad. i was denied schooling my mother's life was also very uh, sad so i wanted to be different so same heredity and man man i just say let it be the bricks so that's why right. even psychotic illnesses can be cured under the hands of an eminent psychologist but there are limitations but unless or if you study the sadlerian concept that i read i read once again heredity and environment provide the breaks the final form of building is up to us we can change even the heredity to some extent say down syndrome if you say down syndrome to the xxy or xyy uh, because of that uh, trisomy yes there will be some uh, intelligence problem intelligence problem but one can be trained in such a way that they can uh, survive in the world become uh, graduates and post graduates and get knowledge and live happily so if you just uh, say it is heredity nothing can be done then no meaning in becoming a psychologist that's what the contribution of alfred adler so the building next time reading the uh, building form is our style of life the goals we chosen we have chosen and the ways we pursue them our values and priorities how we see people and events our everyday habits we can change we can become a model be before uh, a psychotic person also change will take place in him sudden so therapy the red part and all that i am cause already it is 11:15 and not get time so i'd like to stress the positive view of human nature that's what adlerian what is a view sometimes person will be like that what is the view of human nature 
positive view of human nature. He believed that individuals can control their fate. They can do this in part by trying to help others with social interest. How they do this can be understood through analyzing their lifestyle. Early interaction with the family members, peers, teachers help to determine the role of inferiority and superiority in their life. See how beautifully I said it. See, nurturing can go a long way. That's what is in short, early interaction. So nurturing is good, even uh, heredity, uh, nature can be controlled to a great extent. So, his own sentence. I'm reading only the red part and other. I'm convinced that the person's behavior springs from the idea because our senses do not see the world that we apprehend. So once uh, you the thoughts, the vision is changed. The same exercise that I'm also telling. If you wear a yellow glass, you will find everything all yellow. So red, red. So we can change definitely through nurture. So holistic perspective, the perspective that you know, the gestaltian approach, uh, everything is linked, interconnected. That is, uh, he says that uh, why you cut into pieces indigo and superego. That's good. I told you, indigo superego concept is very good because through better education, uh, indi can be made under control. Superego can be developed in a healthy way. So actually, Adler is not criticizing here. He is asking why to cut. See it person in a uh, holistic perspective. So uh, the clinician should have the knowledge of indigo superego. While practicing, you have to bring the holistic perspective. In the in his view, understanding the whole person is different than understanding different aspects of life person. So the different types, there are tribe principle. So all this you take it together and practice. You may have to mix various therapies also sometimes. So motivation part, everything I said. I already discussed. So a few things I am skipping. I'm coming to the uh, his concepts of fictional finance. <coughs> so this also I believe I just mentioned though it was not a part of it. I may not be remembering after the first examination. This was not the syllabus. So I'll tell you a story to make you understand the fictional finance. Again, this is uh, meant uh, to clarify this particular thing. Conscious and unconscious are both in the service of individual who uses them to further further personal goals, to improve the personal goals. So please try to understand. See so now, instead of criticizing, he just asked, why do we consider indigo superego? Yes, the clinician should know this. But indigo superego by bifurcating it, again, conscious, unconscious, it's all all troubling. So, he is telling that by telling the words of conscious, unconscious, and the trouble is due to unconscious, the client is not getting any benefit. So let the, he is not uh, ridiculing or ignoring conscious or unconscious. This is what they're comparing and contrasting. In fact, Adler is not criticizing it. Adler is trying to tell, why do you break uh, the mind into part, indigo, super ego, and like a conscious, unconscious compartments and awareness, let it, let it be taken holistically. Yes, but, but uh, those indigo superego and conscious and conscious are also relevant. May not have to display the same way to the client, but you have to understand. So he is telling that let the conscious and unconscious serve the people. So based on this, you read this particular thing, fictional finalist. Now I'm coming to the story. That is, there was like uh, fictional finalist. Now I'm coming to the story. That is. There was, uh, you take uh, that story into the modern world. Now we have got uh, QLED, lot of uh, features. A, ho a room can be made a home theater in the house. A parent, uh, a very old lady of 80 years. Four children are there. All the four children are businessmen, own their own ships and uh, flights. They can, they can afford to have a chartered flight. But they, what they do is that they take care of their mother in all respects. They take care of the mother in all respects. Uh, the homeless is there once in a while, the hospital, doctor is coming, uh, servants are there. And at a particular, all the four uh, children, wherever they are, wherever they are in the universe, 
world. They join together at an international time. They am share the feeling with the mother. They even uh, see their grandchildren, uh, actions of hugging, kissing, everything takes place. Now that facility is available. The story was so old at that time. This facility was not there. But I am just trying modifying it to make you understand better. But for the last four years, uh, the children did not come to mother to see her. She was made to believe, convinced that they are so busy in business and they are looking after the mother well. Mother is also very happy because she is like a queen. Mother, queen, mother. So Rakhi had to chill again. Well, like, uh, with all the comfort she is living, she doesn't have any complaint. If Christine is very simple, somebody has to answer that if they uh, children really wanted to come, if not together, at least once in a year they will be able to come and see the mother. Is it not? Just answer. Will not will it not be possible for the children at least if not together come once in a year and see the mother personally physically and hug and give a kiss to mother. Will it not be possible or not? Somebody answer that so I can proceed. Somebody unmute and tell. Hello, my dear friends. If the four children, if they really wanted to come and uh, meet the mother, will it not be possible for such people, rich people, to come and do it? It should be possible, sir. It should be possible. That's why. So, so he is telling, he's trying to tell, they forget about the conscious, unconscious, and all that. Everybody is having a wearing the mask to some extent. Here the mother is happy, but sincerely asking, it is possible if so business uh, people, multi-millionaires, they cannot come together. That also we to some extent we can agree, but they can singly, visually come and see. So likewise, we are all using some mask. So why we say that all troubling? But the clinician should know. Suppose a person has got that much trauma. Tomorrow we'll be seeing what is trauma and other anxiety disorders. At that time, you will come to know, you'll understand that. Even out of the syllabus, I'll be covering. So you will understand that you should know the unconscious levels and all that. But not to disclose his clients, but understand and resolve the problem. Everybody is asking, using some kind of mask. This is the extent of mask and all that. If you wanted to know, we have to study. It is not there in our syllabus much. In the first year, there was a mention, mention that some called Gustav Jung, Jungian philosophy, Jungian psychology, if you study, you will get a very good idea about the, the persona, mask and all that. Okay, I hope you are very clear. Now, having for superiority, everything I have, uh, this is the style of life I have discussed. Uh, I just wanted to tell a few concepts of you. I am forwarding all this to you. Better you read because it's already 11.20, I may not be able to cover all those. So I'm just uh, telling certain concepts. Aglarian theory of personality, how to modify the behavior of the client, how to resolve, help the client. Memories of actual incidents that clients recall from the childhood. Aglarian uses information to make references about current behavior of children or others. That's why when you make a uh, mental status examination and you make uh, three conditions um, social history medical history education history when you make that you will get this point inference about current behavior of children adults what happened what incidents this is the importance of early recollection how it affected the present behavior and resolved it using all the, what you have studied including that of learn, learning and learning and learning uh, or the punishment suffered by the client, everything using the behavioral theory and this uh, other in therapy, even the unconscious and all that you can modify. It. So, according to uh, Freud, uh, sorry, the Adler, the basic mistakes are self defeating aspects of individual. See, again, I told you self defeating and self enhancing, you learned it from what uh, cognitive therapy. So this all become resource as such. This is another important thing of uh, Atlanta. Lifestyle itself is understood. 
Assessing the strength of individual's lifestyle is an important part of asset assessment. A person who is so greedy, what will be his asset? He is dead against to the social interest. This is what. Sometimes you will come to know that lack of social interest make a person so selfish. A person who spits on the rod, lack of social interest only. He is not worried about his uh, colleagues, his society members. So it's an assessment, early recollections of basic mistakes. That's why nurturing is very much important in Alfred Adler in there. That credit. So techniques for change, lifestyle analysis. Through lifestyle analysis, assets can be measured. You read and understand. And five other techniques he is telling. This again is taken from Marxian concepts. So five concepts we study. Please try to recollect. That is social interest, inferiority, inferiority complex, superiority, superiority complex. Now, five more things. Again, this is all. These are all taken from Bible and the Marxian philosophy. Occupational work. That means it is said in the Bible. Nettila viarpu gundai annan karikyao. That means. One should uh, eat from the sweat of the man, work. After work only, one should shall eat. Even on Sunday, Saturday, you should work. That's why, whether employed or not, we work for Igno on Saturday, Sunday. So, or do practice. The Sabbath day, it has contributed at least in the modern times one day, one weekly off. Good. But uh, one should work uh, every day out of the sweat only. You shall eat. Society. The question is very simple. Uh, even if you cannot treat everybody friendly, why do you hate at least? So occupation means one should work. Society means why can't you be friendly with everyone? Love. Be a universal lover in everything. So maybe that a snake is poisonous. But there's a snake in the street. Why do you go and kill it? Why he is telling that? Because actually this world asks for whom? For the animals. We destroyed deforestation. And now we are killing the animals. Slaughter. So let them also live. So be a universal lover. Sometimes uh, using these techniques, uh, lifestyle, check, lifestyle can be changed. Even the COVID or the floods. We didn't learn. But at least some insight would have taken place in the people that why can't we be a universal lover. Another thing is getting on with oneself. In uh, Roger's theory also, you will be studying this. We will discuss. So getting on with oneself means uh, your own interaction is giving problem with you. I mean, the obsessions. So self-development, one should be the Kalippa Nagaparele, Maya Malayana Manas. That is, you should not have aggression and all that. If you have this, Self-development will be blocked. Then comes the spiritual development. Maybe if India and Pakistan uh, was separated, there was interest, a political interest also, which I am, that I am not, I'm not supposed to do, talk on that. But you can imagine, maybe that uh, by dividing, two chairs will come. So that could be one of the reasons. But the spiritual development, when you see cosmos, and cosmos is taken into consideration, Nature or the God, whatever you feel, feel. that's a spiritual dollar. The creator of the nature never thought of boundaries, isn't it? It is not, it didn't think of boundaries. We only made boundaries. The same sun that is giving light uh, to India is giving light to Pakistan also. So that is why uh, Krishna Maharaj, I believe, he said he was uh, much worried. He was experiencing the pain. He was experiencing the uh, pain or envy. Uh, he was experiencing the pain when the slaves of Africans was whipped. That, that means the spiritual development comes takes place when you understand the, the empathy, empathy towards all the living creatures. Hope you are clear about the ten concepts and few more things are there. 
how to techniques for change interpretation and learning express insights and again he was telling right from the insight giving insight that is also there in the uh, fraud interface in, uh, in the email dsc uh, what is happening in the moment don't forget about the past this we will discuss when it comes to roger and theory encourage clients autonomy that we have discussed so there is a uh, lot of comparison with uh, fraud interface also acting as if this technique act as if the behavior will be effective so suppose had i been different had i been different in the thoughts and action would it there be any difference in me what is it is there in the abcs of cbt we discuss if you come to my all my classes that's why i beg in the group you come to the class then only you can link all the therapies and tomorrow we will link all this to the uh, illnesses so all these therapies can be linked if you come to the class so this is what Uh, acting as if technique means changing the belief and acting in a different way means there will be change in the person. This is a CBT, ABC of CBT. So catching on oneself, the high experience that is nothing but the Pavlovian motivation. See, what is that? Uh, the four concepts we said: uh, uh, first, nurturing a behavior, continue the behavior, uh, prevent the opposite behavior. Then there will be a motivational effect. The motivational effect is a hard response. Avoiding the tar baby. Avoiding the tar baby is nothing but unconscious is there. Remove that unconscious. That is a tar baby. So that's why if you study all this theory, you will come to know how which theory, which concept shall be applied. First, let us try to avoid the tar baby. If there is any hatredness, let us forget it. If we cannot forget, you, at least you study the if you. If you cannot even love, don't hate a person. So that is a tar baby. Avoid tar baby. Okay. What would be different if you were well? So that is again uh, the ABCs of say, paradoxical intention, aggressive behavior to seek to change. So all this and another is homework, push button technique. So both sides are experienced, which is better. So I think. Uh, And one more thing I want to tell you: Why Adler is very much important in differentiating neurotism, psychotism, and psychopathy. See, neurotism, as you know, the more defensive mechanism you use, more neurotic you will be. Try to reduce, accept our mistakes. That is one of the best way. Psychotic individuals in the presence. Of, let I, let me read. Then you will be clear. Psychotic individuals in the presence of certain predisposing conditions escape totally from the logic of social living and assume a reality of delusions and hallucinations that conforms to their own private logic. See, we discussed a condition called social interest. Social interest, now you know, committing to society. Private logic is dead against to that. So, psychotic individuals in the presence of certain predisposing conditions escape from total, totally from the logic of social living because they are unrealistic and assume a reality of delusions and hallucinations that conforms to one's private world. You know, hallucination and delusion, psychotic part. Three things I discussed in the first year. That is illusion. That is the magician's work. So, yeah, so something uh, he is he is trying to mis through his techniques. A magician is trying to mislead a person. That is the illusion. So I told you I am telling this illusion to make you understand what is hallucination. Illusion is something somebody is trying to deceive you. Here the magician. Hallucination is something that if something is that you yourself delude you. For example, a person died. He is cremated very near to your house. You have got a fear in the night. Till yesterday, you didn't have any fear. You know he was cremated, but you are at that time, night onwards. You are telling uh, he will he become a ghost? Will he make a trouble to me? Even if I, uh, when just uh, wavering of uh, some cloth or a paper. The night you may think it is uh, that person. That is hallucination. 
Delusion is something that I was always telling the example. I will repeat that example. Delusion is a condition that uh, you are trying to inquire, search for a black cat on a normal day in a dark room at midnight. It is not actually there. To put in Malayalam, Illata Karta Poche, Artha Ratri, Kartava Mindana, Irita Muril Tapa. It is not there. So, a yeah, psychotic person will definitely use all this opportunity. Neurotism is using more and more, uh, you say, the defensive mechanism that you can control if you really want. Psychotism is not that easy because some medication may be required because he has got hallucination, delusion, all this. That's why it's very clear through the example, I believe. Psychopaths openly reject the common sense. That is one. They spit on the rod. So, neurotic and psychotic, okay, that's why Kodatai, Jolie, case and psychopathy are motivated only by self interest, but unlike the other two, have no conscience. Manasakshi, they do not need the neurotic excuses. Neurotic is always explaining excuses and symptoms, nor psychotic distorted reality. Hope you are clear. Tomorrow, when we study uh, the other two, I mean, I mean, Tomorrow, when we um, try to learn the mental disorders, uh, you will better understand this Adlerian view. Use of his concepts uh, to resolve the problems of personality disorder and anxiety disorder through nurturing, how it can be done. So all this theory, so far we have discussed in how many theory, trait theory I just mentioned, the behavioral theory, uh, Pavlovian, Skinnerian I mentioned, the TA I mentioned, today I discussed the Freudian theory as well as Adlerian theory. I really wanted to complete the uh, Rogerian theory as well as just uh, I will just uh, have a, just to go through this because I will not have time to tomorrow. I want to complete all the uh, mental disorders linking the theories. So I am just uh, go, going fast. So he Adler again said pampering and spoiling. Here also you have to understand what is pampering and spoiling. Pampering is a condition that doing things for a child which a child himself can do. That's what a four-year child. That is the importance of nurture, according to Adler, is that a four-year child can do 400 things, but you don't allow the child to do it. So the same way it is theoretically explained in where um, Erickson's uh, Stages of development. One point, uh, 0 to 1.5, 1 1.3, 3 to 6. See, all this period, trust, mistrust, everything is to be, all the negative should be avoided, trust should be developed. All this, when the child wanted to do, you don't allow the child to do. And spoiling is a condition that you, child, even do not ask the mobile, but you force him to use it. So without even asking anything, you are giving. Without demanding of the child, you do it. It's called your spoiling. It's a work friend is also like that. Whose work he has to do. Can help. But if you undertake the work of others, what will happen? You are spoiling. Again, this is the Karma Yoga principle. You know the Karma Yoga principle center. You have to, you are not supposed to do the work of others. You should do your work. Okay, you can help. So otherwise you'll be spoiled. So the just health approach, I'm just uh, telling the basis of uh, even that much is not uh, explained when you are uh, text. So I am just coming to a particular area. The capacity to recognize a need is vital. The just health approach, you know. The, you read all these slides that I'll be sharing today itself. I will not have time. Uh, one, 20 minutes only is left. The capacity to recognize the need is vital. Here, uh, the gestalt approach is that so, uh, the whole is not sum of the parts. That means holistic approach is telling. So first important thing is that you have to make understand the Client, even ourselves, the capacity to recognize the need. Even when I talk to my students, they don't understand. 
Uh, those who are uh, completed a PG and joining it, yeah, after a PG we are joining, they don't have a good job. Why can't you try concentrate on that? You start I study psychology, but why can't, why can't you, you I mean, 20, 25 years, 20, 30 years, they got the opportunity to get a better job or good in mathematics, uh, get a government job or a secure job. Uh, they don't understand. So the capacity to recognize the need is vital for any client, whether you ourselves, Age, everything you should understand. I mean, the Erickson's theory, age, which bracket you are, what do you have to achieve? Uh, all this goal fixation and its achievement is just out. So I will come to uh, this previous things. What he says that here, uh, the sense that uh, Ford is not there. Primate word is used. The person is seen holistically. Primate means Prathana Acharya. That font is not there. That is why it is not. If you got Malayalam font, that will come. Primate means Prathana Acharya with inbuilt patterns of reacting. This is what. In gestalt psychology, the person is again a Freudian person. Here, you should understand. Bodily, what is uh, explained in the red, bodily visceral reality which can't be ignored. Viscera means your gut, the taste. So according to him, you just imagine somebody goes to a barber shop. Barber, you see, barber is using a scissor, it, it is not having enough sharpness. What will happen? You will have pain. Then you will uh, ridicule him. I am having pain. Better use a barber. Uh, sharpened scissor or you are interesting somebody to cut the nail if there is pain you will not agree so this is what aging even me maybe with a little hair why i use hair dye is that i want to be appreciable so uh, to get appreciated energy dye aging sensual satisfaction pain even a quality of state that's what he is going further more than that of uh, Freud, even if a quality of sleep is to start, you ridicule others, you recomply, I didn't get sleep. So this is what I is telling the people who did are Fritz Perls and his wife. At that time, the philosophy, everything was just reviving. So I'm just going back. Now you read, you can understand what it is. Now what is the purpose of studying this particular thing? He is using a particular word. Certain people, I wanted to do a step by step, but there is no time, that is the reason. Disturbance is conceptualized as a loss of ability to adjust creatively in a particular situation. See, last paragraph you see, in healthy mode we are all kings. In disturbed mode we became victims of inappropriate habitual patterns of thinking, feeling and reacting. That is what I mean. Freud also said an improved living may resolve the problem. An improved living condition may resolve the problem of people. So this is what he's telling. The people are all selfish. They wanted to improve. Some people, uh, even in uh, utter poverty, everything, they come up in the life. But some people with little disturbance get troubled. So whatever he says that capacity to know the capacity to understand the need is vital. So when there is again red you have to read. When there is creative adjustment in life, gestalts are well formed, graceful and fulfilling. And when complete or finished, they disappear. Let us see that circle. Circle that is since it is a, a small screen, you may not be able to read carefully. But with <coughs> Sorry, with an example, let me try to explain. Don't think that uh, it's the best example I was, why I was telling is that in a family life, you know, the private uh, family relation, <coughs> the romantic relation is certainly a blessing. It's a, it's a tonic in counseling, <coughs> family counseling, you require all this. So you just uh, uh, compare a private life activity. Sensing or feeling, becoming aware, fully immersed or fully engaged, mobilizing the energy, 
so sensing or feeling a private family life a romantic life sense there is a sensing of feeling sensing or for you to understand in a easy way i'm telling sensing or feeling comes becoming aware mobilizing energy towards accomplishment of that family private life readiness to take action fully engaged final con contact integration letting go return to equilibrium so when such an activity mutually agreeable private life activity is taking place till end energy is not lost till till end of that activity energy is not lost but when we engage in some other activity or this this also if it is disinterested this energy mobilization will not take place this is what gestalt says gestalt say if you you have can have many many gestalts but a prime gestalt vital capacity to understand the vital need is important once the vital need is very clear the energy will be mobilized but psychotic individual even with a lot of neuroticism psychopathy that will not come to come so such that treatment is different for a psychologist if you can make a student for example this is a, a case a, a, a log gurudas a, Uh, i'm not supposed to reveal but this slide i have prepared for him uh, he was disinterested in engineering but uh, but he had a vision to get a night admission i used to just tell the rabbit so you mobilize a full energy write the exam till that uh, your energy should not be disturbed i take a print to, to my client after the counseling i take the print and give to him he got a night admission because till that period he mobilized his energy towards accomplishment this is say just all the principle okay now what are the the major drawbacks of again i am repeating uh, understanding the vital need is very very important so naturally the threat in gestalt therapy is also that limiting our awareness is a major block managing our sense effectively in the world you know what is the major block you should know the current reality current need that is what just tells us once a person is immersed into that the current awareness is that the current need he will be perfectly ordered you know uh, in a regular college to take one freudian therapy and to explain the thing uh, that's why 80 hours for one paper but i am getting a solely 10 hours so naturally i am not uh, in a regular college only one theory, theory will be taken using three weeks whereas we have to do four theories in two hours that is a limitation so just actually we are not supposed to teach to interact only but that can it's not possible even in a in offline class it may not be that effective that's why we continue to teach in gestalt therapy awareness can be achieved through acquiring direct experience of self and of the world rather than talking about the concept of understanding the person is limited due to sound of touch body is regarded as source of wisdom provider of organic truth so in rogerian therapy that you studied everything i am talking only about the few concepts this also i discussed but i really wanted to tell you what is the importance of self and self concept actually this was again discussed rogerian theory you know uh, the rogerian theory uh, karl rogers he had said something equal to that of gestaltian concept organismic self regulation concept what is organism self regulation i'll tell you a story i think i had uh, mentioned it last year also to make you understand the gestalt and this therapy together it will help you understand practice yourself to your clients using this organic self regulation the story is like that uh, one day the organs of the body started quarreling for superiority supremes i said because of me only you are able to see the world and move then uh, he said no 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 because of the afferent and the afferent and nervous system you are getting the direction not because of the eyes if you are getting a sound you move to that side because of the afferent afferent nervous system likewise 
uh, stomach heart kidney all the organs were uh, asking demanding the supremacy then the inner hall uh, our purging of the waste that organ said i am great then everybody put a shame 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 at the by other organs then uh, what happened is that uh, uh, the anas said let us see what will happen tomorrow he could not go to toilet day after tomorrow then he could not eat so finally the heart said i will stop pumping so all the organs finally agreed that uh, all organs are equally important so likewise the organismic self regulation uh, he said uh, it is the congruence of all the self and self concept in a life that means uh, what what is not cooperating with us all the organs are cooperating that is why we are having a swastha life a, a peaceful life we are getting because all the nerves brain everybody is cooperating only one thing that is not cooperating with us is the brain so that's what he is also telling i'll come to that say what is happening in the our brain is that because of the limitation only i wanted to talk to you all this this is what in congruence what you are what actually you are you should know one should know his traits what i am what is my traits what type of person i am so if one a person is using this faculty what i am what type of person i am that means if he is sincerely assessing himself he will not use defensive against because he is truly presenting himself so i am such a person what actually i am where you want to reach actually that also you should know where you actually you wanted to reach actually you have to, you don't exhibit again using other defense against so i wanted to be an official having powers and what actually you wanted to become your career then what actually you are now if you know this what you are what is your trait where you actually wanted to reach where you are now if there is incongruence there will be psychological disturbance according to this theory so congruence versus incongruence now moving towards congruence or congruence that means one should know what he is what he is actually now where he has to be when there is all the three shades are merged to one he will not have any psychological disturbance for the the tools one should understand people used to say past is past past is a waste paper don't worry about it so all this can't work now using this picture you can have a better idea for example you take the case of taj mahal this is a picture this is a monument in europe the question is very simple there is a vent duct you can see the sky the question is whether the authority will allow to close that now enough money is coming many people are visiting but will they are the tourist department will they allow somebody or will they take will they take a decision to close that vented area no like was in our taj mahal protection and prevention is there but uh, will the government allow to make a modification no likewise past has got its charms forget it past is past another thing is that uh, this is a very good therapy uh, to uh, solve the body dysmorphic uh, disorder as well as that of um, we discussed uh, adlerian theory body dysmorphic disorder etc we will be discussing tomorrow she says that a person is living in extra limbs maybe selling uh, something like lottery there are also poor people are there now the question is very simple if he is accepting see look adler in the rabbi inferiority he is accepting the inferiority yes i am like this there's a limitation still he can definitely have the best food available out of the money is getting whereas you compare with a diabetic person he has to take insulin for food then you compare all this this person is must be lucky enough he can if he can have a good partner he can have other pleasures also in some here 
nobody may be inviting him for a function but he can go to nature and enter likewise the mental faculty thoughts has to be changed you want anybody can have a better life now this is what nothing in the rogerian therapy is an american is an american so there are thoughts you know the word that is why then uh, anthrax was there if you remember anthrax was there they simply slaughtered a very animal so this is against that of rogerian therapies against that of what adlerian therapy first few concepts they when they wanted to do the social interest uh, that's a comparing and cause social interest and all that that's why an unsocial element is there in the client you can use the Uh, social aspects are related to happy here a person is not at all selfish you can use this slide nothing in the world is bigger than a people it's an american they are like this human, human species for important they slot all other animals human uh, species more important in that the individual concern is more important nothing in the world is bigger than the people except a person that is me that means a person should not be deprived he should come up maybe this is dead against to that of adlerian therapy both are more important that's why here all, i'm doing all the comparing and contrasting to a person who, who doesn't have any social interest he is uh, not behaving the act to behave in society adlerian therapy will work a person who is not at all motivated in himself rogerian therapy will help please this all theories are relevant what type of traits a client has as person less than any social interest socially committed you can better have adlerian therapy a person is not at all self interested uh, deprived of himself rogerian therapy will help so again a person centered therapy this is again rogerian therapy same rogerian therapy may be used in different titles see the the bonsai this particular uh, this particular plant you know the limitations of this plant it cannot grow beyond a Uh, space but nobody can uh, have a predetermination that uh, this can only have this many branches this can only have only this many leaves it is wrong so it can grow you can have unlimited number of branches and so likewise uh, that's why a person deprived rogerian therapy is best so again this i explain to you few more concepts are there I just i will tell land that i change uh, how therapist and client uh, how uh, uh, how a person should be selected perpetuation change selection criteria everything i have mentioned due to limitation i will be sending all this thing to you but what we have to concentrate on a client is that these five things that is one should be fully functioning fully functioning means your total potential has to come a person should be fully functioning once a person is fully functioning that's why rogerian theory is made good for deprived persons should be made uh, to upper levels that is the idea behind uh, this rogerian therapy so openness to experience what is actually your experience in without using defense mechanism you why why can't you really evaluate it so unrealistic rigidly safeguarded self concept has to be removed you have openness to experience means you have to uh, really evaluate all the experiences don't blame others as far as possible never use defense mechanism that person is like this and said find no fault in others find no fault in others was the concept i discussed in the class first class organic organic trusting i told you the story that is all parts of the body are very very important personal freedom that's why maybe the feministic uh, philosophy also psychology also adlerian therapy is very much important because deprived category children and female so you know the personal freedom the creativity the creativity uh, that means uh, is a test called passive test of creativity it is available in our mercy madam used to take this class for ba students once if you get a time uh, you once uh, covid is over 
uh, you can I, I too have this was it as the everything I have once you do this you know the extent of creativity a person has it has got a box and all that uh, due to limitations otherwise I used to bring that particular box and show this to the second year students so creativity can be measured so all these things will help you a person should be fully functioning open next experience uh, organismic trusting that means all uh, organs are equally important personal freedom that is without personal freedom Sotantram te tantram. One should have that career, everything. Then only one can be fully functioning, uh, creativity. So thank you, my dear friends. Psychological disturbance, how to change everything. I have made perpetuation, change, improve movement, selection criteria. Rogers on words, what he is telling. Everything I have mentioned. I will send the written and hour to you. I hope you are clear about it and enjoy the class.